Jennifer Grey is an American actress. She is known for her roles in the 1980s films Ferris Bueller's Day Off and Dirty Dancing. She was nominated for a Golden Globe Award for the latter. She is also known for her 2010 victory in season 11 of the American version of Dancing with the Stars. Gray is the daughter of Academy Award Euro winning actor Joel Gray and former actress singer Joe Wilder. Early life Jennifer Gray was born on March 26, 1960, in New York City, the daughter of stage and Academy Award winning screen actor Joel Gray and former actress singer Joe Wilder. Her paternal grandfather was comedian and musician Mickey Katz. Gray's parents both came from Jewish families. Gray is an alumna of the Dalton School, a private school in Manhattan where she studied dance and acting, and where she met her best friend, actress Tracy Pollan. After graduating in 1978, Gray enrolled at Manhattan's Neighborhood Playhouse for two years of training as an actress. While waiting for roles, she supported herself waitressing. Career Gray's commercial debut was at the age of 19 in an ad for Dr. Pepper before making her film debut in Reckless, in a small role. She appeared in a small role in Francis Ford Coppola's The Cotton Club. That year she starred in the war film Red Dawn. She then appeared in the 1985 John Barton Project American Flyers. In 1986 she played the role of jealous sister Jeannie Bueller in the John Hughes comedy film Ferris Bueller's Day Off, opposite Matthew Broderick. The film was quite successful and received a positive critical reception. The following year, she reunited with Patrick Swayze, whom she had played opposite in Red Dawn, to play Francis Baby Houseman in Dirty Dancing. The story is a coming-of-age drama that documents a teenage girl's rebellion against her father by starting a relationship with a dance instructor during the family's summer vacation. The low-budget film was a surprise hit and the first film to sell one million copies on video, and is considered a classic. A film also defined Gray's career, and she was nominated for a Golden Globe for Best Actress. Gray's sole Broadway theater credit is her 1993 appearance in The Twilight of the Golds. In the early 1990s, Gray underwent two rhinoplasty procedure as a Euro the second of which was necessary to correct problems stemming from the first a Euro that resulted in a nose that caused even close friends to fail to recognize her, and the major change in her appearance negatively affected her career. Of the experience she said, I went in the operating room a Kelbritty a Euro, and came out anonymous. It was like being in a witness protection program or being invisible. She briefly considered changing her name in order to start her career anew, but ultimately decided against this. From March 1999 until January 2000, Gray starred as herself in the short-lived ABC sitcom It's Like, You Know, which satirized her much-publicized nose job as a running gag. Gray appeared with Shirley MacLaine, Liza Minnelli, and Kathy Bates in the CBS television movie The West Side Waltz adapted by Ernest Thompson from his play, an episode of Friends as Mindy, and she had a small role in the 2000 film Bounce with Gwyneth Paltrow and Ben Affleck. In 2007, Gray portrayed Daphne on the HBO series John from Cincinnati. In 2010, she played Abby, the mother of a sick child in the season 7 House episode Unplanned Parenthood. Gray was a contestant in season 11 of Dancing with the Stars. She was partnered with professional dancer Derek Half. She came out very strong at first, frequently topping the leaderboard, however, injuries, stress, and exhaustion took their toll on Gray, and for a couple of weeks she fell behind. In week seven, however, she improved, tying with previous frontrunner Brandy Norwood. On November 23, 2010, Gray and her partner Half won the competition. In September 2011 Gray appeared in the Lifetime movie Bling Ring as Iris Garvey, the mother of Zach Garvey. On November 5 and 6, 2011, Gray stood in for head judge Len Goodman on the BBC One TV show Strictly Come Dancing. Gray voiced Mrs. Kurokawa in the English dub version of the 2013 film, The Wind Rises. Personal Life On August 5, 1987, Gray suffered severe whiplash in a car accident in Enniskillen, Northern Ireland, while vacationing with Matthew Broderick, whom she began dating in semi-secrecy during the filming of Ferris Bueller's Day Off. The accident, 
which was the event through which their relationship became public, occurred when the rented BMW Broderick was driving crossed in the wrong lane and collided head-on with a Volvo driven by a local mother and daughter, Margaret Doherty, 63, and Anna Gallagher, 28, who were killed instantly in the accident. Broderick was later convicted of careless driving and fined $175. Dirty Dancing was released a few weeks after the accident, catapulting greater fame, but she has said that her grief and survivor's guilt over the crash prevented her from enjoying the film's success, and led her to withdraw from acting for some time. Gray was also romantically involved with actor Johnny Depp and journalist George Stephanopoulos. She married actor-director Clark Gregg on July 21, 2001. They have a daughter Stella, born December 3, 2001. They live in Venice, California. The couple co-starred in the Lifetime movie Road to Christmas in 2006. Prior to her 2010 appearances on Dancing with the Stars, Gray had a physical examination to ensure that she was fit enough to compete and saw a doctor to address chronic neck problems caused by the car accident years before. Her spinal cord was compressed and her surgeon placed a titanium plate in her neck to stabilize it. He also found a suspicious white spot on her thyroid via MRI. The nodule was cancerous and was removed. Gray has stated she believes the cancer was caught before it metastasized and that she is now cancer-free. Filmography, Dancing with the Stars Performances, References External links, Jennifer Gray at the Internet Movie Database, Jennifer Gray at All Movie, Jennifer Gray at the Internet Broadway Database. Jennifer Gray at the Internet Off-Broadway Database, Washington Post Interview